Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to copy formulas in Excel 2010. First up, I've got some very simple data here that I want to use for my calculations. I've got a list of products here in column A. I've got the number of units sold for each product in column B. I've got the unit price for each product in column C. I also have up here in cell B2 a tax rate that I also want to apply to some of these figures. And what I want to do here is in columns D and E is to calculate as results for revenue excluding tax in column D and including tax in column E. And I want to do this and avoid having to type out a formula in each of the 16 cells that we see here. So let's start off with the first one and click on cell D5. So all I want to do to calculate revenue excluding tax is simply multiply the units sold for this product by the unit price. So that's a straightforward formula. Type in equals, click on B5 for units sold, type in an asterisk for multiply, and click on cell C5 for the unit price, and press enter. And as you can see, 50 units sold by 10 euro each is giving us 500 euro. So that's a correct formula, I'm happy with that, and I would like to apply the same formula in all the other cells down here, but I don't want to type them all out. Excel allows us to copy the formula down. So I've selected cell D5 again, and if you look at the bottom right-hand corner, very carefully at the bottom right-hand corner, you can see a small black box with a crosshair in it. If I move my mouse over that, my mouse symbol changes into a crosshair, and if I click and hold and drag that box down to the bottom of my column, I can see that the formula is copied down correctly for each of the products, all the way down to the end of the column. So I've now completed, uh, in this case, eight formulas, and I only have to type in the formula once, and I just copied it down into the other seven cells. And if I check my values here, I can see that I'm happy with all the calculations. I'd now like to do something similar in column E. So the revenue including tax is the formula I need here is the revenue, first of all, excluding tax, this this case 500, and I want to apply a 20% VAT rate to that. So the formula here is equals, click on cell D5, and I need to add, I also need an opening bracket here, and D5 again, and multiply it, asterisk, by B2, which is 20%, and hit a closing bracket, and type in enter. And I can see that I've calculated the formula correctly here. 20% uh, of 500 is 100, so the revenue including tax is 500 plus 100, which gives us the 600 that we need here. If I now copy this formula down by doing as I did before, moving my mouse over the bottom right-hand corner and dragging down to the end of the column, I can see that something has gone drastically wrong here. I don't have the accurate values. If you look at any of the calculations there, you can see that they're not correct. So something has gone wrong here. So let me check, first of all, the copy down formula in the first row, which is row 6. If I click on in here, I can see that the D6 value is correct, but I'm multiplying it by cell B3 instead of B2. If you look at B3, you will see that it is empty. If I go down to the next line and double click to see what the formula is, you can see that it is the uh, row is correct, D7, but it's multiplying by D4, which actually contains the words unit sold. So that's what's giving me the bad value here. So essentially what I want my formula to do is to retain the value of B2 all the way down. So let me undo that copy and paste there. Go back to my cell up here and double click on the formula to get the original formula that I typed in. And in, if I want to retain the value of B2, I have to use what's called a absolute cell reference. So that means putting a dollar sign on either side of the letter here, like as you can see, and pressing enter. I still have the 600 euro value as before, which is correct. But this time, if I click and hold and drag down the bottom right hand corner of the cell, you can see that I'm getting accurate calculations. If I double click on the last cell here, you can see that a dollar B dollar two symbol is still there. The value is copied all the way down for one cell. Now if I just undo that there as well, another thing that you can do very, very quickly with co columns like this is that if you double click on the bottom right hand corner, as I'm doing now, it also uh, fills in the formula, the, cop the formulas for you all the way down automatically. So if you uh, find, if you have an awkward spreadsheet and you find dragging the mouse around to copy formulas down a little bit awkward, just double click on the bottom right hand corner of the cell and the formula will be automatically copied down for you to the end of the column. Well that's how to copy formulas in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.